Hello again, this is Sean Allen with the Well-Ordered Homeschool and Caroline and I were doing a series of videos on training uh, and raising up two-year-olds. And uh, actually, uh, like I said, it was Caroline and I doing these, but she's not here with me right now because she is taking care of our two-year-old. <laughs> so she left this one to me and uh, what I was going to be talking about in this video was the issue of whining. And so whining is something that obviously is uh, pretty common to this age and um, a more advanced version of this. Uh, it, it never really goes away if you don't deal with it. When they're 16, 17, 18, it's called back talking. <laughs> so it's whining when they're two, it's back talking when they're older. And really all they're saying is after you've asked them to do something or something just is not set well with them. They're saying, I don't want to do this and I don't think I should have to. And so uh, let me, I, I want I want to let you know this. I'm, I'm going to complain about um, the little chore that you asked me to do. And so well, we've talked about this a little bit in, a, in another session, but one thing you want to be sure of from the outset is that you're not asking your two-year-old to do something that they shouldn't be expected to do. Maybe the chore or the uh, responsibility is not age appropriate. And we've, we've been guilty of this before where, um, you know, your two-year-old can't unload the dishes. We've never asked them to un unload the dishwasher, but, you know, they're not going to be able to unload the dishes. Maybe they can unload the, um, you know, the utensil tray. Maybe they can take out just the forks. Maybe you could have them do something like that, but they're not going to unload the entire dishwasher. They're not going to sweep the entire floor. Maybe they can just sweep up the pile that you swept from the floor into the dustpan. Maybe they can do something like that. They're not going to pick up all the trash in the living room. Maybe they can just pick up two or three pieces, or maybe you can hand them something to take to the trash can, you know, things like that. So if you're getting frustrated with them uh, because they're not doing what you asked them to do, you might take a good hard look as to whether or not it's truly age appropriate. Um, now, once you're convinced and you're clear on the fact that it is age appropriate, You've, you, you've got those two or three pieces of trash and you say, you know, you're going to have a little exercise. Let's take this over to the trash can. Um, you know, you're, you're sure that, that that's okay. It's okay to ask them to do that, but they don't want to do it. So what do they do? They're going to start whining about it. Like, I don't have to. This isn't, this isn't my trash. <laughs> uh, they might, <laughs> you might hear that. Um, or somebody else threw this down here. It wasn't me. <clears throat> but that's really not the issue. You've You've asked them to do this. You're trying to help them to learn how to be helpful and to be available. And so you want to, you really want to deal uh, with the whining. You don't want to let that pass by. Now, a lot of parents will get caught up in, in, in this notion that, well, they're only young ones or they're so little or maybe I'm asking too much of them. And that's, that's on you. That's, on, that's your responsibility to determine whether or not uh, you're asking too much of them. So, so make that determination. And if you're very careful about what you're asking them to do, then, then no, you're fine. You're fine to ask them to do these one or two little things. You're trying to prepare them for more responsibility later on. So uh, the time to start asking them to do things is not when they're five or six. You know, you, you should begin to do that when they're young, when they start to be capable of those things. Again, age appropriate. And, and, and make that, that load appropriate to their age, but you don't want to start when they're four or five um, because you're likely to get more whining at that point and it's going to be harder to get, you know, to get them going. But if, if that ball is already rolling from two on up, um, it's going to be easier. And, and, and again, you also want to, you, um, want to deal with the whining. You, don't want to, you want to allow as little of that as possible. Um, because when they're 13, 14, 15, it's going to be more complicated. <laughs> it's going to be much more advanced. So it's not whining, but they're going to spell out in, in a very articulate way <laughs> all of the reasons why they shouldn't have to do the laundry. Okay, so, But if you deal with that at a very young age, you're going to have less and less of that. <clears throat> so it's not wrong to expect your two-year-old to, to help out with some very small and simple chores. It's not wrong to ask them to do things like that or, or to clean up after themselves. So, so, so be convinced of that, but be very sensitive to the possibility that you might be overloading them. 
So if you're asking them to do too much or that load is too heavy, they're going to whine more. But is that is that because of you or because of them? So it's, this is a balancing act that you have to do. We talk a lot about this in our parenting course. Um, we talk a lot about um, defining your values and defining your child's values, and and talking about what kind of parent you are and 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 what your what your child prioritizes in their life and how do you how do you get those two sets of values? How do you get them to hook up? And uh, this is important. And it's and two is not too soon to start on this. It is definitely not too soon. So st start out easy, start out young, and and get it settled in your mind. Uh, what those expectations are and how heavy that load can or cannot be. And then once that's settled in your mind, then you start working on on getting them activated um, in, in doing those simple chores. You're not working all day long and they're not lifting a heavy load, but it's, it's good to, to start to introduce those things. And there's going to be some pushback because your two-year-old would probably much rather be running around playing or playing Legos or playing house or whatever they're going to be doing. They don't want to help you pick up trash in the living room and throw it in the trash can. And that's understandable. It's understandable. We shouldn't treat them as if uh, there's some kind of terrible creature because they don't want to clean. But they also need to understand that um, having a household and having a family uh, creates work uh, for, for every member of the family. And we all have to pitch in and help help together. It can be a joyful thing. Um, really, you're, you're setting you're setting out on the wrong foot if you're turning it into uh, you know with a furrowed brow and a gruff voice. You know it's time to pick up. Um, it could be a fun and an enjoyable thing. And so I uh, I know that we can get stressed and overwhelmed, and so we're just like we got to get this done and hurry it up. And we 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 want to help come alongside them and help them to take ownership of their work. So at, and that can come maybe not at two, but as you get a little further down the line, they can start to take ownership of their work and they can look, they can walk into a living room and say, there's some trash in this living room. I'm gonna just go ahead and pick a few of these things up. And that's that's really a beautiful thing. So, so start young, it's okay to start young. Just be careful as you do, be sensitive uh, to them and build them up to the place where they, they take ownership and pride in, in doing a good job.